Hi guys, Happy New Year! This is the Balkan Architect and for the first tutorial for 2018 I will be modeling one of my favorite big architects projects and that is this spiral over here that's a watch factory and also a showroom I guess it looks really interesting it looks like a spiral you can see here the diagrams how they got to that shape it looks very nice and I will be showing you how to model something like this of course it won't be as perfect as this because let's be honest nobody is as perfect as Bjark Ingels but I'll show you the general idea how you can model something like this in Revit so let's go to Revit and before I get started I would like to ask you to like this video it helps me out a lot and if you enjoy tutorials like this I suggest you subscribe. So I'm going to be using architectural template and first thing we need to do is we need to set the units so I'm just going to go type in UN and change from millimeters to meters I prefer working in meters for these kinds of projects and first I'm going to set some reference planes so I'm just going to go here to reference plane and create a horizontal one and a vertical one I'm just going to zoom in a bit and create one more and I'm going to set this distance to 3 meters and then I'm just going to select it and go CS for create similar use this pick lines tool and set an offset to 3 meters so I'm just going to add 3 meters like this I'm going to select it and mirror it around this axis then I'm just going to select this and this and then I'm going to rotate it by copying it as well and for center of rotation I'm going to choose this center over here and I will rotate it by 90 degrees okay now we have a grid we can work with and now let's draw a general shape using annotation lines so we know what we're working with so for that I'm going to be using this arc tool and I'm just going to go from here to here and create one arc like this then another one over here okay it's already looking like a spiral and one over here once I've done that I'm just going to go detail line again and arc again so I'm just going to start from let's just start from here go here create an arc go here create an arc and one more over here so now we have something that looks kinda like the spiral so now we need to create this in architectural elements so for that I'm just going to go back to architectural tab and I'm going to be creating a floor so I'm just going to use floor command and I'm going to be using this pick lines tool so now we need to create one part of the spiral which is this one over here and then we'll create the second one so for the first one I'll just pick this line this line this one here and here and on the other side as well I'm just going to be using split element tool to split this line over here and then with the trim tool and or trim and extend I'll trim this out and this out as well okay now we have basically one part of the spiral modeled so I'm just going to check it over here and I'm going to create a new one so go floor and then I'll be using the pick lines tool again so I'm just going to pick this line this line this one here this one as well to end it and on the other side as well okay now with the trim and extend tool let's just trim it in place like so okay now it we have the other part of the spiral completed so I'm just going to go finish edit mode and because we don't want this thing flowing in air the terrain is a very important part of this type of a project so I'm just going to create a terrain around it so I'm just going to go floor again create basically a wide rectangle around it and then let's just add these parts over here oops I don't need this one okay that looks about right this will be basically a hole for our object and once we're finished if we go into 3D 
we have something that looks like this. Okay, now how do we turn this into that extruded spiral? So first we need to select one of our floors and then I'm going to go to modify sub elements. By modifying sub elements we'll basically bring this shape up. So first for this line over here I want this to be at 3 meters height and then I need to add, put this at 3 meters as well. Okay, that looks right, but we need to put this halfway up. So if this this is 3 meters, this is 0, this will be 1.5. Okay, it looks about right. So I'm going to finish that. And then let's do the other one. So I'm just going to select this one, go modify sub-elements. And I'm going to put this at 3 meters as well. Then change this one. Uh, this point actually. You might need to select out of it. Okay, now we can put this at 3 meters as well. And let's put this at 5 meters, so make it a bit higher. Or if it doesn't look right, maybe we can make it lower. Let's try 2. Okay, that looks nice. Maybe 1.5. Yeah, that looks much better. Okay, so this looks about right, so I'm just going to select out of it. And here we have our spirals. Now we can turn on the sh shadowing to make it look nicer. And now let's add some walls to make this project look completed. So I'm just going to go back to level 1. And for the walls I'll be using an architectural wall and I'm going to be using a storefront curtain wall and again I'm going to be using pick lines and for this offset I'm going to go with 0.3 meters and then I'm just going to go like this like this here and here as well now let's just connect these and for this here I don't want it actually starting over here because that's basically at the ground level so I'm just going to move it out a little bit and now when I go into 3D let's see what we have done okay this doesn't probably look right so I'm just going to put my mouse over this select tab to select the whole thing go attach top base and choose the spiral over here now it's going to give us a warning message delete these elements and that looks okay for this curtain wall so let's go back to level one and let's create the other one so wall curtain wall store front offset by 0.3 and do the same thing okay now let's connect these and this as well and here I'm just going to do the same thing just pull it in a bit okay looks about right go into 3d put my mouse over it, hit tab to select all, go attach top base and choose this one. Go delete elements and there you go. So this is the big architect's styled spiral. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you liked this video and if you, if you would like to see more. Okay, that's pretty much it. Leave a comment if you have any suggestions for further tutorials. Thank you for watching and bye.